hello many times you need a series of screenshot for there are tools for single screenshot i'll talk about them in some other video but here i'll be talking about a series of screenshot for example you are doing a scenario and then you want to document it like where it's failing and what you pressed so it's difficult like you use the combination of print screen and you paste it in a word document and then share it uh, with someone and if you want to write over the images you do it generally in paint so there are three softwares involved in doing this but there is an easy way by using a tool i have been using it for more than 3 years and whenever i need a series of screenshots and especially in the documentation and sometimes you want to share with your parents like how or somebody else like how you can perform that particular step so this tool can be very useful and you are seeing my name is gaurav khurana on the screen you have the ways to get connected with me so let's begin this is the software by which you can do that the name of the software is wink so i can show you here and i'll tell you the way from where to download and how to use it so first of all you set a preference over there i'll tell you why we are doing that so i have set that a screenshot should be taken whenever i press q because q is a uh, it is not very frequently used you can change it the uh, whatever way you want so i'll click on new and i can select that whether i want the full screen to be captured every time or a particular window where i can select that whatever windows are open so it will give me the option that select suppose i want the screenshot of only this task bar or a particular window like my task manager so it will give me the option but for now i will go with the custom rectangle and choose and i'll select this portion of my screen where i am avoiding the task bar because i don't want to show someone my task bar so it has this now i'll press okay so it is telling me that uh, since i have selected q as the key by which i can take screenshot i can minimize it so i'll show you a scenario uh, which i am trying to do it so i'll open a website so this is the mcd property tax website where suppose i want to document that how a person can get the previous so what i need to do is whenever suppose i came on the screen and i want a screenshot i can press q button whatever button i selected and if you notice that there is in this task bar there is a blink that will happen so i'll press the q button i'll go forward okay again i want a screenshot i can press the q button and again q button and whenever i am done so and then i can just go here and press finish capture so if you see it has done a set of recording of all these things right and on my wish and why i want on my wish because at times like there is a facility by which it can take screenshots after a particular 5 seconds or even on mouse event but at times like you get some email and you switch between task so you will see extra screenshot you can do that way now i can add uh, like there are various options over here for example i can add a text box uh, i can say click on this button or i will say this is the place where you will find receipts right so i can write over images that's a very good functionality over here and i can duplicate things control c control v so you can get if you want to write multiple things you can do that and on this page suppose i want to not only add a text box i can add various shapes to it for example this kind of and you can create your own as well so if you see the size is big because i was using like that and i can reduce it so from here you can reduce the size and you want to highlight things you can do that and the best part is like you can export it as an html right so i'm exporting is at as an html and i'll show you that how it's looking i'll just open it and there would be a single file that would get created so that will save a lot of your time and there is an option to save it even as a pdf you can save it as a pdf as well i'm just opening it so if you see it has this test wink is the file and it is in the html so you can share this html with anyone similarly you can have a pdf as well if you want and you can save it in this format as well like in wink format the advantage of saving in the wink format is like you can re edit it 
right suppose if i am saving it as abc test property whatever name i can give it will be saved as dot twink file and then later you can open and you can play with this properties for example here i can uh, just change like how whatever way i want suppose i want a ellipse i can select that right i want to highlight this button i can select that i can write text and it has even like uh, you can get the maximum out of it by using this help just open this tutorial and it will tell you what are the very very good options that are available with it i have been using it for many years i create this pdf and share it with people and they find it easy as well like i can and if, suppose if you want just want these images like right? you want um, all these seven images in a folder then just export it as post script right let me give a name over here and let's see uh, how it comes so i have saved in this folder once it is done it will come here so it's getting saved as of so it got saved and this is the test wing files in this folder it came you can see like all these images which were there they have came in this folder so i need not to create all of them so that way this software is very very good and you can download it from the site like this is the site from where you can download debug mode slash wink uh, where it's available and it's available for both uh, my uh, windows and linux as well and there are features like they have given even like you can add an audio if you want and you can add some buttons in html so you can jump from second to fifth so all those things are available in these five options like here i can add a button and what should happen on this button it will take me generally to the next frame but if i want that button should be taking me to the first frame then it will take me to the first frame right if you see here in frame 1 and if i'll export it as an html and i'll open and somebody will click on this so it is creating a interactive even screenshot so it's very helpful hope you like it and start using it and if you face any problem you can go to their forum which they have told here or even you can comment on this video so i can help you if i know the solution thanks for watching and you can subscribe to this channel thank you